Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So Mozilla have started rolling out Firefox version 106, and this is the latest release now for desktop, which they started making available earlier today on the 18th of October 2022. Now, um, there are a couple of new features, and then we get those all-important security updates that have also rolled out in version 106. Now, the first is a couple of new improvements they've made to uh, viewing PDFs and the PDF reader and viewer in the browser. And according to Mozilla, it's now possible to edit PDFs, including writing text, drawing, and adding signatures. So to add text, we just head to the little text icon in the top right. You can change the color, you can change the size, and you just click on the document, and you can enter your text and add your text to your PDF. And then the same applies to drawing. You head up to the top right, click on draw. Once again, you can change the color, the thickness, and also the opacity. And I'm just going to draw a circle around my text. And then also you can add signatures, but I'm not seeing any option to add a signature as yet. So that could possibly still be on a controlled rollout. But nonetheless, um, you can edit PDFs now, including writing text as shown and also drawing and adding those signatures. And then over and above that, um, Mozilla also says that setting Firefox as your default browser now also makes it the default PDF application on Windows systems. So I think that's a nice move in the right direction. If you are using Firefox as your default browser and then those that a PDF application becomes the default application for viewing PDFs on your Windows operating system. And now the next feature is regarding private windows. So if we just head over and open a new private window, um, Mozilla says you can now pin private windows to your Windows taskbar on Windows 10 and Windows 11 for simpler access. Now at the first launch, and um, when you open a new private windows, you will see that option. I mean, there will be a little banner here saying pin to taskbar, but nonetheless, if you don't see it, um, you just, just right click on the icon on your taskbar and you can now pin that private window to your taskbar and over and above that on windows 10 and 11 they've also placed a, a start menu entry for firefox private browsing in the start menu so um, as mentioned you can now pin that to your taskbar and also launch the private windows from uh, your start menu and um, Mozilla also says that private windows have been redesigned to increase the feeling of privacy according to the release notes and then just to make a quick mention quickly for a, a couple of um, other features, um, if you are using Firefox on Linux, um, swipe to navigate, two fingers on a touchpad, swipe left or right to perform history back or forward, now works for Linux users on Wayland. And then if you are using Firefox on Mac OS, um, um, there is now text recognition in images that allows users on Mac OS 10.15 and higher to extract text from the selected image such as a meme or screenshot and um, I'll get to that um, example they've given in the release notes when we take a look at the security updates near the end of this video so text recognition now um, you can extract text from um, screenshots as an example on Mac OS 10.15 and higher according to Mozilla and then I would say the next feature would be and would maybe be considered the key highlight so to speak for version 106 and there is now Firefox view that helps you to get back to content you previously discovered and a pin tab allows you to find and open recently closed tabs on your current device access tabs from other devices and change the look of the browser and just to demonstrate if you pin a tab um, you now get your Firefox view. Tab pickup, and this is open on my Windows um, 11 device at the moment, that tab. You have some other new tabs that are opened recently. And if you use um, Firefox on mobile, you can grab tabs from your phone or tablet. Yeah, you get recently closed tabs. And then also there's um, independent voices, a new colorways collection, and which um, gives um, 18 new colorways themes, which will change the look and feel of the browser. And this is available and expires on the 17th of January. So just take note of that. So that's the new Firefox view, which I would maybe consider to be the key highlight um, with those new features added to uh, pin in a tab in the browser. And if you want to remove it, you can just right click on that pin tab and just go remove from toolbar and that will um, close that out for you in the browser. Now, um, to double check if you have this latest update, um, as always, we just head to... Uh, the menu in the top right click on help about firefox and if it hasn't updated automatically this will force and push the version to 106.0 which is now the latest release as mentioned and then we click on what's new 
and that'll just take us over to those release notes and i've mentioned um, most of these new features and then just to head back to that new mac os feature and this is just an example of how you can extract text from a meme or a screenshot as mentioned um, and you can just extract that now on mac os 10.15 and higher as mentioned and then um, we get to the all important security fixes and they have fixed um, a couple of security vulnerabilities in version 106 and there are six vulnerabilities that have been addressed and two of those are high risk which is your second highest ranked vulnerability after a critical so um, nonetheless if you're not interested in any um, new features just double check your browser is up to date as it is your first line of defense uh, to the online world and just to make sure you are patched with these latest security fixes and the um, two high risk vulnerabilities that have been addressed um, are called same origin policy violation could have leaked cross origin URLs and then um, memory corruption in JS engine and those are the two high risk vulnerabilities so that's it that's more or less what's new in Firefox version 106 which started rolling out earlier today on the 18th of October and that's now the latest release for desktop so thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one